Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Zvezda and this kit is named as a Su-57, it's a Russian 5th generation fighter and as you remember previously it was released in 172nd scale, today we have it in 148 and frankly speaking I somehow missed this release so it will be interesting to see what is actually included here because so the jet fighter in 148 scale should be an interesting build so that's why I decided that it's worth getting this kit and checking it together with you. So first of all box is surprisingly big but aircraft itself is big so in 148 scale it should be huge and hence the packaging style here you can see comparison with my hand it's really huge. We have nice box art here then on the side we have some safety information and also barcode it was made in November 2020 it was written and of course paint chart and decal sheets which are included here then on the rear side we have some just give me a second so here we have some information about the model so not only we have the no, I will close the camera so that it won't be that bright. So not only we have short history note, we also have parts number. There are 249 parts inside and assembled model will have a 41.9 centimeters length. So quite impressive aircraft it should be. And it's quite interesting, frankly speaking, that um, Zvizda does not show the wingspan of the model on the length. I think for aircraft kits it's a bit more interesting to know the wingspan as well. But it's me. And here we have some other kits, so 148 Mi 24, then we have Yak 130 and here we have EU2 which we reviewed relatively recently so you can find video on our YouTube channel. So as usual everything is sealed here with the tape as you can see so I'm going to use a sharp knife in order to open it, just give me a second. And we will check everything together right now, so it should be cut. Here. I will do it off the camera so that it will be quicker because I barely see what is where. Okay, so it should be like this. It's opened. I will open the box. Okay. <laughs> so inside we get more pictures of other kits in 148 scale in case you are interested and here inside is what we have for this kit so boxing style is slightly different from what we are used to see I mean as you remember EO2 had the large box with the cover printed sleeve here we have a large box with the top opening and there are no inner sleeves we have assembly manual and marking guide and also decals on the top we will check them a bit later and also there was a safety brochure but this one is quite typical thing so nothing to talk about and we are going to start with plastic parts so let me move this large huge box off the way and we will start checking everything one by one In the meantime I would like also to remind you that you can support us financially if you would like to see more various video reviews just use the donate button on our website access the version from the desktop because uh, there you will see this big red button or if you would like to do it via YouTube we have a join button somewhere here so you can use our membership program in order to get some really interesting benefits from there. Okay, so we are going to start with this large fuselage half. As you can see, it is molded together with uh, uh, with both wings, and we have it really big. I mean, basically, we have whole size of the aircraft shown here. So here you can see comparison with my hand, and if I zoom in, you can notice the external features. So not only we have recessed panel lines, but we have this interesting surface, which is also present on the real aircraft, as far as I remember. So it shouldn't be smooth, do not think about brushing it or sanding it, it should be just like what we have here. And here you can see the tail area, and let's move to the nose section. So here is the nose section, 
The sad thing in my opinion is that the nose cone is promoted to the top half and it is also promoted to the lower half so you will have the seam in the middle. That's not such a cool feature to be honest especially in 148 scale. I would understand it in 172nd but in such large scale it's better to have it as a separate piece. And from what I can see wing edges they will be serving as a guiding element so here you can see that there is slightly overlap in the lower half so basically when you add the lower half it won't be visible and at least this design is really interesting and in the nose area we have guiding pin which should somehow help you with alignment I guess so I hope it won't be a difficult thing to join them together okay next we continue with another fuselage half as you can guess that's the lower part so let's zoom out again and here you can see that we have a lot of these plastic tabs here in the middle so of course you will have to delete them and here will be bomb bay as far as I remember here we have also engine gondolas or engine nozzles and again here you can notice that engine rear sections are also pre-molded even though they could have been as a separate pieces or just give me a second. No, actually engine exhausts are molded separately. So that's only the, let's say, beginning of this. And here we also have wing mechanization. And again, you can see that nose area is pre-molded. And if you flip it over, inside again we have guiding elements. We also have them here in this area. So these guiding pins should help you with the proper alignment. And I think you won't have any issues by combining these two large halves together. But of course it's a sad thing that the nose cone is not divided into you know, one piece element. And by the way here you can see that nose wheel well is quite plain and it is promoted together with the lower section. I wonder if there are no reference photos for this area or maybe it was done intentionally not to show anything inside. Next we have sealed plastic bag so I'm going to use scissors in order to open it just give me a second I have no doubt that we will see some aftermarket for this kit I mean the scale is quite big so there is a plenty of space for or opportunities for upgrade and there is no doubt that we will see some mask sheets also maybe some key parts it's just a matter of time and now I'm removing set of frames which was packed into separate plastic bag. So we are going to start with this double set. I will zoom out so that you can understand what I'm talking about. Here it is. And as you can see it is provided on two sprues. Basically parts are absolutely identical. So I will show you only one because there is no need to show the same stuff again and again. So here we get all the parts which are usually supplied or used in a double set on aircraft. So here you can see them. By the way here we have engine nacelles and also we have some parts for the frontal section as well. As you can see these fans. We also have landing gear wheels. So these ones are the main candidates for the replacement with resin parts because I hope that somebody will release something even more detailed here and if we zoom in let's zoom in here so now you can check these parts closer so everything looks nice I mean this engine nozzles maybe I'll place them like this so you can see that they're also nicely detailed and they should be okay for out of the box build the same can be said about this landing gear wheels but for 148 scale model I think it deserves slightly better features. Here we have some missiles which is also cool to have out of the box. Few tanks and pylons and various minor elements for the armament. By the way pilot figure is also included and as far as I remember we have two sprues here. So basically we get two pilots in one box. Okay, so let's remove this one and we move to the next sprue. So on the next frame you'll find more of various armament parts and why I'm a bit confused because I'm trying to understand 
what can be replicated with these parts because we haven't checked the assembly manual so basically we have the closed version and we also have the separate doors for the open version and we have all the armament for um, for the internal compartment and everything looks cool I mean molding quality is really nice so we can zoom in even closer and now you can check it with your own eyes and as I said it's really nice to have the armament out of the box it might be a bit tedious to assemble because as you can, as you can see there are plenty of this stuff but I think overall molding and design is supposed to help you with assembly so I doubt that you have any issues here next we continue with another gray plastic sprue and what I can see here is that we have tail surfaces and we also have main wheel wells here we also have main landing gear OX parts and some thin parts here we even have the ladder for the pilot which is also quite cool bonus so let's zoom in and check all these elements closer as well so here is the first corner let's say and you can notice that again we have recessed panel lines and here you can check by the way the main landing gear OX and let's move to the side here so here we have more parts for the cockpit and landing gear wheel wells. By the way, cockpit, I guess this instrument panel will be upgraded with separate decals. And here we go on with this ladder for the cockpit, which will be placed with the pilot on your aircraft. Okay, and if you flip it over, inside you can notice that we have again the same design as on the main wing. So we have these leading edges and trailing edges actually serving as a guiding element and hiding the joint line between these two parts. Which is quite cool design because it helps you achieve a nice looking aircraft without spending time trying to send this or that element. Okay, I removed the dust and next we go on with the last gray plastic sprue and here we have so parts for the engine air intakes next we continue with another uh, closed hatch for the main bay and in the opposite side you can see the pilot seat and also the cockpit floor if we can call it so but I think we should zoom in so that you can check everything closer so first of all here we have various doors and as far as I can guess Zvezda usually offers the assembly option with closed landing gear base so I guess this kit won't be different but we will see in assembly manual and also here you can see pilot seat that's also quite I would say probable candidate for upgrading with PE parts here we have cockpit tab here we continue with some cockpit elements for the canopy and here we have some of the external elements and by the way here you can check the control stick which is molded together with column below it overall again we have the really nice molding quality because even the smallest parts are carefully molded by the way here you can see some pre-molded features on the engine parts i wonder if they will be visible on the finished model we will see it in assembly manual but first I would like to show you one more plastic sprue so in the separate plastic bag we have this clear plastic sprue and I'm going to open it right now what we have here is really nice molding quality so it's a two-piece canopy so basically you can copy the open cockpit on your aircraft and that's really cool but masks are not included so in case you are afraid to mask this stuff I would rather wait for the aftermarket set in order to carefully cover it with masks and get the nice paint finish on your model I mean that's 148 scale kit so parts are really big next we continue with marking guide for this aircraft and now I'm trying to understand how many markings we have so there are three markings in total and we can zoom out a bit these markings are shown on the separate brochure as you can see it can be also used as a poster maybe so what do we have here is the first marking option here and you can notice that we have first decal sheet and the second decal sheet and I have to check why it is like this so there are some sections 
on one decal sheet which will be used for the camouflage and don't forget that this aircraft should be matte surfaced so it will be really important and on the opposite side we have two more markings and I would say from the first side they might look not that different because it's basically the digital camouflage with red stars but there are some minor differences and you can also read the backstory behind this aircraft camouflages or versions because it should be interesting as well so now after this we can move on to the decals they're packed into the separate plastic bag here it is so as you remember two decal sheets and I'll remove them in a second and we will check them one by one so first one is the smaller one here it is let's zoom in now you should see that here we have even decals for the instrument panel as I said before some decals for the cockpit also some decals for external surfaces and they have the metallic surface which is really unusual I would say and overall printing quality is really nice so we can zoom in as much as we can and you can notice that there are no possible issues all stencils look really nice so it's just a matter of careful application and you will be good to go but as I said there is also the second decal sheet so if we zoom out and take the second decal sheet so here we have these marked areas which will have to be placed on the aircraft and that will be a bit tricky because we all know these thin lines are always tricky to place on the aircraft doesn't matter which scale and again we have really small stencils they look nice and maybe you need a sharp tweezers in order to apply all these stencils but other than that I do not see any difficulties with the cow sheets and printing quality looks excellent so I don't have any complaints here next we continue with assembly manual so this one is printed in black and white let's zoom out now you should be able to see that it's a traditional Zvezda style and as I said we have two assembly options so you can assemble aircraft on the special stand but stand should be bought separately so if you would like to copy it be ready to spend some extra money and of course you can copy it on your own stand but that's what Zvezda recommends here we continue with the parts map and as you remember Zvezda doesn't mention which parts are not used I guess maybe all parts used here but we will see and assembly process starts with the pilot seat next we continue by assembling the control column here then we install all this stuff in a cockpit tab and of course you have an option to use the pilot which will be placed right in the cockpit in my opinion that's a really cool gift because not that many brands actually offer the pilot figure out of the box next we continue with the main armament compartment as you can see it will be assembled out of several parts and then installed on the lower section and again you have a choice between open door closed compartment so it will be up to you which one you choose here we continue with engine nozzles and as you can see there are two assembly options so be sure to choose the right version because it depends on the configuration of the aircraft and next we continue with the tail surfaces here which will be installed in two possible assembly options so again choice is after you on the next page we continue with the front sweats if we can so call them so and here we have also some canopy parts and next here in this section you can see the nose, landing gear and wheels assembly so as I said if you have a chance to get the resin wheel definitely do this because it will benefit your model and next we continue with installation of the main wheels on the landing gear OX and here you can see the assembly option for the closed base so in case you don't want to open the landing gear base you have to use the special covers in the opposite in case you have to use this approach and we have the two versions for the armament on the model so as you can see with external fuel tanks or with missiles and here on the rear side we have the installation guide for the model stand or for the special leather which will be attached to the aircraft 
Here you can see the stencil emplacement, so it will be quite a process to do and it might look a bit tedious but don't be lazy, apply all these symbols and your model will only benefit from this, so maybe I can zoom in so that you can check them. But all in all we get really nice 148 scale jet aircraft and frankly speaking it is nice to see that Russian aircraft are also copied in this scale because some others would like to assemble something different so that's the perfect chance to build something and it might be a good gift for the Christmas season of course and I would be happy to hear your opinion about this release write it here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye